We are excited to announce our new Budgets Pro feature. In this video we will walk you through the basics of this new tool. To get started, click on Budgets from the left menu. When creating a new budget, you will notice a new option to use Budgets Pro. First, let's start by selecting a one-year date range and checking the pre-fill data box. Now we can give it a name and click Create. This will generate your budget for your profit and loss statement. Once in the budget you will notice there are a bunch of new features. Let's go over the row settings first. By clicking the gear next to a row, this will open the row settings. We have added a handful of row types to help you create your budgets. You can choose custom which will allow you to manually enter in numbers for your budget. The next option based on previous period will fill this row's data with the actuals from the previous year. The next option is one we are super excited about, Link to Datasheet. We have now included a Link Datasheet to Budgets Pro. This allows you to bring in data or formulas that aren't normally in your profit and loss. Let's say you wanted to base your projected sales number off of a formula, you can now do that in your Link Datasheet by creating the formula. Then having your sale row setting set to your datasheet, as you can see here. The next option in the row settings is, based on fixed amount. This allows you to set a fixed amount for the year, and it will divide it up equally for the year. You can also turn on update with actuals and it will take your actuals into account and divide the remaining budget equally for the upcoming months. The last option in the row settings is forecast algorithms, with this setting you can choose an algorithm to apply to the row, such as linear or period over period growth rate. You can even click the preview button below to see how each algorithm looks in comparison to your actuals. All of these row settings can also be overridden on a cell by cell basis by simply typing over the desired cell. This will highlight the cell, letting you know that this cell has been manually inputted. To undo this, you can delete the content in the cell or click the revert to default button up top. Another exciting feature we have added to Budgets Pro is the ability to leave comments and notes. To do this, you can right-click on a cell or click the comment button here. This will allow you to leave comments for your team or notes explaining certain cells. The last new feature, and one of our favorites, is the ability to view your actuals for the year quickly, as well as the variance compared to your budget. To do this, simply click on budget above the column and this will toggle between your actuals and variance as you can see here. We hope you are just as excited as we are with these new Budget Pro features, and we can't wait to see what you build. If you have any questions on this new feature, send us a chat.